My name is Natalia Sells. I'm Tanner Wilson. And I'm Bianca. And our service is Grocery Go. Company, products, and services. Service features. Grocery Go offers our customers a personalized shopping service that offers features that go beyond simply providing a service. We strive to be helpful. Customers can place their orders online on our future website in which they will include a grocery list, a specified store, and a budget. We offer same-day delivery with two-hour two minimum delivery service. We can also provide alternative delivery times as well to best suit our customers. We will work on Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Our work hours will include 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. 8 p.m. will be the final time to submit an order online with a two-hour minimum delivery service. 10 o'clock p.m. will be our cutoff time in which any food that is not delivered will be returned and however this will be touched upon more in our guarantees and warranties section. Delivery transportation vehicles will be equipped with the proper refrigeration coolers in order for our food to comply to food, food and health standards. Customer benefits. Time is our customer's most limited asset. They can best utilize this time in other areas such as family, leisure, and work. However, the elderly can also maintain a level of independence by utilizing our service. We not only serve our customers as a personal grocery shopper, but we also act as bargain hunters as well. Warranties and guarantees. We guarantee same day delivery with a two hour minimum delivery service. We also like to function within the compliance of health and food and safety codes as well. However, failure to uphold our guarantee if we are at fault will result in a waived service and commission fee. However, if we are unable to uphold our guarantees due to unforeseen and unavoidable events, we will offer a negotiable payment compromise. However, if the customer is not the agreed upon site at the given time or has passed the cutoff time for delivery service, their groceries will be returned and they will be fined a $25 penalty fee and also include a non-refundable service charge as well. As stated below, our personal shopper is not at fault for purchase items that do not meet the customer's specific needs given the customer did not clearly communicate enough their desired items. We will, however, do our best to ensure our customers receive the best service we can provide. What makes Grocery Go so unique is that we are the first to enter the personal shopper industry here in Durango. Patent or trademark protection. Given that Grocery Go is a service company, we will have to include a service mark registration. However, since we are in the beginning stages, we will comply by common law rights. Given that we are the first to utilize the Grocery Go brand and name, we are given full rights in the Durango area to utilize this. However, in the future, we intend to register the USPTO or the United States Patent and Trademark Office so that we are given federal rights over our name. And once we get the federal rights, we are given the trademark as seen on the picture to the right. For the production process, given that we do not have the basic skills or knowledge to create a website, we will outsource to a website designer. Our website will include an online order form as well as an online payment system in which we can charge our customers the service charge for their delivery service. Our online payment system will include credit and debit card charges as well. We'll also include smartphone credit card swipers for our, commission, for our deliverer's commission payment transactions. In our vehicles, we will include large and portable coolers. That way our food stays cool and fresh for delivery service offerings. We hope to expand our work days to seven days a week. We will also include monthly, then weekly grocery trips to Farmington for Farmington-based grocery stores such as Sam's Club, Safeway, and Target. Included, we will also have service discounts for current college students in the Durango area. Premium service membership is also in our line of future service offerings in which we will offer front-of-the-line service and speedier deliveries for our premium customers. Marketing Strategy Target Market and Demographic Profile Grocery Grow's target market will focus on the two market segments that have a high amount of income within the Durango area. Grocery Grow's pro primary target market is adults who range from age 25 to 55 and have a household of 2+. plus. 
Grocery Girls' secondary market is seniors whose ages range from 55 and up with a household or two or for those who are living alone. Within these two market segments, Grocery Girls' target market are affluent and non-affluent people whose annual income is 45 k and their occupations include but are not limited to sales, office, administrative, support, management, business, finance, construction, maintenance and repair, engineering, and computer science. Information to use are broken into four segments. Seniors, here we go again, family feeders, and on the go. Seniors are homebound due to health or medical conditions, are unable to or no longer comfortable with driving to the local grocery store. So here we go again, these grocery shopping as a chore. They seek to reduce the time, effort, and costs associated with shopping. The family feeders purchase eat-at-home snacks. Because they will have children at home, they will generally buy larger quantities. While not as price-focused as budget-conscious consumers, good value is important to them. And the on-the-go segment tends to have a busy lifestyle possibly involving work, travel, study, and sporting activities. As a result, the on-the-go tend to be above average purchaser for ready-to-eat foods, snacks, and other convenient foods. Due to their busy lifestyle, they will probably more likely to engage in online shopping as well as using vending machines. Trends. Grocery gross market share within the Durango area is $8,778. This number is from the results of multiplying the number of target customers within the business area by the penetration rate to get the market volume, which in a Durango area, our total target market number is 7,980 people ages from 25 and above, multiplied by a 1% penetration rate to get 79.8 as our market volume. After calculating the market volume, Grocery Go has to calculate the monetary value of the market, multiplying the market volume by your average value, that is price expectations. Using the market volume, Grocery Go can determine its market value by multiplying the 98 market volume by a 110 average value. Based on the results of Business Insider, nationwide grocery delivery services such as Amazon, Instacart, and Peabot Grocery sales will grow at a compound annual growth rate of 21.1% by the end of forecast period. We can expect grocery gross market in the Durango area to grow at a slow moderate speed of 5% for two to three years. Pricing and promotion. Grocery Go will use a guerrilla advertising campaign of print, social media, word of mouth, and possibly direct mail or info booths. Map posters, flyers, and our cards will be distributed to key locations in Durango. Research will be done at the homeowners associations for policies on postering and door-to-door -door advertising. Grocery Go will keep a Facebook and Pinterest page. Photos of our personal shoppers completing runs for our customers and promotions will be placed here. Grocery Go will consider the possibility of person-to-person -person advertisement info booths at grocery stores. The cost. Grocery Go will spend 15% of revenue generated on advertising. Because Grocery Go does not have to purchase inventory, it can afford to spend greater amounts on advertising. Because Grocery Go expects our revenue to be about $500 per month, this gives us $50 to put towards advertising each month. See abuse. Grocery Go divides its usage plan into months in which frequency gradually decreases. During the first month of operation, Grocery Go will begin advertising at its highest level. During the following two months, advertising will be cut in half. After that, all other months to follow will only have one-fourth as much advertising. The frequency decreases to make up for the cost of advertising before we start making revenue and to avoid over-advertising. In publicity, Grocery Go will focus on promotional activities that work well with word of mouth. After the initial month or two of operations, Grocery Go will offer a recommend a friend deal. The recommending party will be rewarded with a waived initial service fee for one shopping trip. We feel that a new customer 
is worth missing, missing a single service fee. Kuroshiko will consider future possible participation in charity events such as canned food drives. This is based on the advice of the head of the Durango Chamber of Commerce. The intention is to help Groshi Go be accepted by the local business community and get its name out to the public. Pricing. Groshi Go will employ both a fixed and variable cost structure. Concerning fixed, an upfront service fee of $20 per order will be charged. Concerning variable, in addition to the service fee, the customer's bill will include the cost of their groceries. Finally, 15% of the groceries cost is added to the bill. It is important to note that Grocery Go requires that customers order at least $20 worth of food. So, that's cost of the order plus $20 initial service fee plus 15% of the cost of the order. Desired image in the market. Grocery Go is a premium service. Our desired image is the leading middle-high service of Durango. That's middle-high quality, middle-high pricing. Distribution strategy. Grocery Go will focus on networking and targeting specific areas. Grocery Go is a new company with partners new to the business community. Because of this, networking is essential. Networking will help Grocery Go through word of mouth and providing extra opportunities for advertising. To do this, Grocery Go's partners will make an effort to interact with the Durango Chamber of Commerce. Grocery Go will look into areas relating to households with income above 50000 Some, but not all, of these areas are Songbird Road, Edgemont, Sport Complexes, and Grocery Stores. That concludes our presentation. Thank you for watching.